Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing a project here. I actually have design. I'm going to try building today. See it on here. Got my light real quick. Right there. It's actually going to be a teddy bear on a number one that is stacked. That's to the side. And I'm, I'm working on a new design here. This is something that I've never done before. It is a design that I'm looking to sell. So I'm I'm building it and I figured why as well share uh, the build technique that I use and I create. Uh, dig some balloons out here. I'm gonna be using rounds today. Got my inflator out here. I need a dozen balloons. Here we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this uh, stack here. It's a cluster of four balloons that uh, my template here it's gonna be yeah i get my old school template here my i know there's gonna be somebody out there who's a decorator going look at how slow he is look at that again decor is not my forte i like it but it's not my bread and butter my bread and butter is being on stage entertaining that's where my bread and butter is Decor is something, the stacking that I've picked up over the years. Let me. Here we go. Now, there's a couple other tricks. If you don't have sizing templates, you could use two back of two chairs to measure something. done that before all right so what i'm going to do is spend a little time here and uh do my quads look at this Woo! All right, didn't take too long. I have my uh, my three quads here. I throw that on the floor. Easier on the floor. Now I'm going to use, those were actually rounds, nine inch rounds. That I inflated to eight inch. I'm going to use, use them to five inch rounds. Five inch fashion white rounds. I change my nozzle out here. It's my smaller. That's a nice thing about these inflators. They have changeable nozzles, so you could take out and switch out to the smaller nozzle, which fits on the smaller balloons. Yes, life easier. Say goodbye to the eight inch template. Bring out the four inch template. And let's inflate some balloons again. There we go. That's our last one. Last cluster four. Now, I'm going to set this off to the side here. Here, I don't unplug my mic. I do that periodically. What happens when you're hardwired? I am hardwired here. Ugh. All right, I'm going to take my stack and I'm going to use 260 balloon. I don't use fishing line. I uh, use fishing line once. I saw this technique and I'm so surprised it's coming back. I first saw this technique of using stacks without poles done in the Qualitex magazine back in early 80s mid 80s and they actually showed how to use a stack and they weren't using uh, they were using all the same size so that you had eight inch balloons and you do a whole inch eight inch column this technique of using the small filler balloons is actually different
seen in the past. And the reason why people like using the latex balloon over fishing line, fishing line can actually tearing more balloons, wrapping the fishing line around. So in this technique, they use the mylar, so not mylar, they use the latex 260 balloon and by twisting it around you could get a nice tight fit except I have to find it again that around with the stack get it nice pretty it's all about making it pretty Yay! Right, my stack? this is gonna be my base and I want what's end caps on there as I'm calling them. Where are my balloons? Where'd my balloons go? Oh, there they are. I threw them over here. This is an old bag of Qualitex balloons I've had. These are Qualitex, the very best. Check those out. You don't see these bags anymore. All right, I'm just going to Got those in there. The other side out. Even though we always have a back and front. Guys, out prominent. There we go. That's nice and clean. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice sturdy base now. If I want to put a water weight in here, I can put a water weight in here. What I'm going to do now is actually make the number one because I I've already made the teddy bear up. I haven't showed you this. I've done my little teddy bear here. Teddy bear is going to be off to the side. He's going to be on here. We're going to have big number one that stands up because this is for a first birthday. And uh, we're going to add some flowers to it. We're going to make it special. So, tell you what, I'm going to start the number one. Now, I'm going to do white. I'm gonna go with the clean look of white. Add in other colors here. So I'm gonna do my white. And here's a trick that I use. I use this as my actual template when I inflate. Just take the balloon. Bingo. Take the nozzle. Spin it down. Take this nozzle, so I have it facing the bottom, slide it so that way. Look, it's a number T. Again, take this nozzle, nozzle, white on white. My light is so bright here. That nozzle, just gonna take that nozzle. Hide it right into there. Nobody ever sees it. It's gone. Magic. All right, now I'm going to take plate. Maybe a one. One. Is, you, can't, you guys can't even see that anymore. Hang on. I have a trick. This chair goes down. Lower chair. One. I think it's the whole number one. I have my 
fair hair? A little, a little teddy bear. Gonna get tied in right like that. Number one. I'll put some flour. Ah! Here goes Teddy. No, no, Teddy. Teddy, come back here, Teddy. No. All right. Now I said this is gonna be. Uh, theme is pink. I'm gonna use pink. 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 Purple. I could use my words. All right. I'm gonna pull out lilac here. And I'm just gonna do a simple little flower. so nice soft i'm gonna make i do a flower that i learned from it's my dark purple this is a balloon that i actually learned from roger siegel decades ago roger siegel taught me this balloon i don't know 30 years ago all he did was make a ring. Five balloons. Five little cluster and then tied that together. Boo. Noisy. And then what you do is you make the next cluster tab larger. Just gonna make a series of these. I'm gonna show you what happens afterwards. It's really easy. It is hard on the hands because you're making a whole bunch of little bubbles. I used to refer to these as his lilacs. Let's put lilacs in here. I don't think this actually calls for roses. I, I don't. We have. One small one for the top. And I am going to use a winter green here. I don't want a really dark green. I don't want a. a Crazy color green. All I did was I tied the nozzle to one balloon here. Pull out a knife and I'm not jabbing myself. Off. Excess. Take that first set over like that. Next set, I'm going to bring it up from the bottom. Just roll it right up. Take the next one. Yep. 
Nossa. So I got the purple uh, lilacs on one side. I got the teddy bear on the other side. I'm doing a light lilacs now. It's going to be a smaller one. I'm hoping to get... Uh, So I'm not going to be able to get yeah four. These are what is that six up there? The rule of thumb is whenever you do anything with the design, you do it in odd numbers, three to five. So in this case, I'm going to be doing a series of five for this next one, where these are going to be longer. So it's going to be a smaller lilac. Lilacs. Find my nose on. Find my smallest ring. Here, give me a comment if you like this. Follow, share, do all that fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed today. I had fun building this. I hope you possibly learned something new. My name is Magical Blue Dale. You guys have a good time. Have fun. Enjoy. Till the next video. Fine. There's gonna be a. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.